Today we'll talk about the description of the spiritual world, also known as Goloka Vrindavan from Sri Brahma Samhita. I worship that transcendental seat known as Shweta Dvipa, where as loving consorts, the Lakshmis in their unalloyed spiritual essence, practice the amorous service of the Supreme Lord Krishna as their only lover, where every tree is transcendental purpose tree, where the soil is the purpose gem, all water is nectar, every word is a song, every gate is a dance, the flute is the favorite attendant, effulgence is the full, is full of transcendental bliss and the supreme spiritual entities are all enjoyable and tasty, where the numberless milk cows always emit transcendental oceans of milk, where there is eternal existence of transcendental time, who is ever present and without past or future, and hence is not subject to quality of passing away, even for the space of half a moment. That realm is known as Goloka, only to a very few self-realized souls in the world. So pay close attention. Every word is a song. Every gate is a dance. That is why Vaishnava devotees chant the Hare Krishna mantra and dance to it, as you have just seen. So the Sanskrit verse, Shriya Kanta Kanta Parama Purusha Kalpataravo Dhruma Bhumis Chinta Mani Ganamai Toyam Amritam Katha Ganam Natyam Gamanam Apivamsi Priyasaki Chidanandam Jyoti Parama Apitad Aswadyam Apicha Sayatra Kshirabdihi Sravati Surabhi Bhyascha Suma Nimeshardhakyo Vavrajati Nahi Yatrapi Samayaha Baje Sveta Dvipam Tamaham Ihagolo Kam Itiyam Vidantasche Santaha Shiti Virala Charaha Kati Payem in the last line, it says, that realm is known as Goloka, only to a very few self-realized souls in this world. So not everybody can understand the mystery of the spiritual world or can go there. Chant Hare Krishna and let's try to go there. 